Do you live in the US and want fast, fresh and tasty meals without the hassle of shopping or all that hard work preparation? Well, don't you worry. As a lazy man, I've got you covered. Try America's number one meal kit service, HelloFresh, and get yourself fresh, pre-portioned ingredients delivered direct to your door. So why not eat well, stay healthy, and avoid the cost of regular takeout by trying HelloFresh? Just click the link in the description below for a special limited time discount and free shipping as well. Enjoy. Well, thanks to a dose of COVID, my voice is already on the decline at the start of this video. But the big question is, will Distillery's European group stage chances join it? Because today we face Cluj in a third qualifying round of the Europa League. If we lose this one, we've only got one more chance to make the groups. Yes, hello and welcome along to I think part 92 of Lifting Spirits with me, Daniel. We are back today following Champions League disappointment against Maribor with a similar test in Europa League qualifying. One win in this round or the next round of the Europa Conference League and we are through to the group stages. If we lose it, especially after what happened to Linfield last time, it is big trouble for Northern Ireland and you could argue that we will have let the nation down. We face CFR Cluj today of Romania, a side with plenty of European experience. And over two legs, we have got to find a way to win. And we are boosted ahead of this one. So if you're looking forward to seeing how we get on in our final two games before the start of the league season, then please do put a thumbs up on it. Apologies in advance for the voice, but there is some exciting news. Because although on the transfer front, it has been remarkably quiet in recent weeks, just Mark Wilson going off on loan to Leighton Orient. Our signing from the previous episode, Morris Simpson is finally going to be able to start a game. He is registered, he can play in these qualifiers today, and he's going to make the difference because Merkel Hatton was all over the shop in the second qualifying round. We didn't manage a goal in two legs against Maribor, and you can stop shouting in the comments as well. I've added the attendance, I've added the goal scorers. You can see everything you need to now. And after a 1-0 aggregate defeat, we have got to bounce back. Clues are the opponents. We've got a horrible start to the league season. We know now that Linfield aren't going to have group stage football either. So this is going to be really tricky for us if we don't make it through. Lan are still going strong in qualifying. They've got a favourable draw in the third round as well. So they might be the saviour for Northern Ireland at the minute. But let's go and get into the first leg today. No point playing around. We've still not been able to find a right back, which is of real concern to me now. We've basically got weaker in one position from last year. And you'd argue a weaker up front as well, because rather than Hartman, we've gone for the permanent option for the future. But it is a better option than we had in the first two rounds, and all we've got to do is get through. It is a Cluj side with a few very good players. Serjan is one of them at 29. 61 caps for Romania. He is a superstar. Played for Dundee United, played for Arsenal as a youth player. And although the Romanian league isn't loaded, again, a bit like Maribor, They've got five or six very solid players, and that is going to be a problem for us. So let's go and get through to the team selection. I think you know roughly what we're going to go for. And Pardy got injured last time out. Huate is still out as well. There's going to be a little bit of work to do here. Let's go and get the squad selected. We'll hide all those trialists for now. Hopefully we'll meet a couple of them in the future. But at the moment, we've got to go and pick a team. Well, in the end, it is just the one change from the Maribor tie, and it's sort of enforced due to injury. Huate is not really there yet and I'd rather have him for the second leg away from home. So Simpson comes in up front, he will make his debut for the club. But on the right hand side is Jonathan Mukulhattan who stays in the team and he's a very lucky boy given his recent performances. The rest of it I can't really argue with. We didn't play that badly at the back. The two centre halves and keeper did well. We only let him one goal in two legs. And then in midfield, I know we've got Morgan Griffiths but he's relatively solid so... I'm not going to make any big changes. We're going to stick with that. We go into the first leg, a home to Cluj. We'll try and be on the ascendancy and get a lead. And hopefully we'll be able to cling on. I just need to win the tie and guarantee that money. And then I know the decision to go pro was fine. We can start improving stuff off the pitch. And we can really push on as a football club. But for now, if we throw away this opportunity, we're probably going to set ourselves back a few years. Let's go and get into the first leg and see if we can avoid another defeat. 
Well, as you can see, the result of a few more real players for Cluj is that they've now got eight substitutes for this one. We're going to go through the dressing room. We're going to tell the lads to make home advantage count. And we're going to stay positive because here at Windsor Park, albeit not officially the home stadium, we've got to try and get on the front foot. If we don't get a lead, we saw with Maribor, 1-0 defeat away from home and we couldn't back it up. What a view that is, by the way. I've turned off the music for this one. I didn't want to bore you to death with it. Do you want it on? Let's have a bit of background music. There we go. You can hear it coming along as we go in to the first leg of our Europa League qualifier. The attendance is not good, but the attendance isn't what matters. We're going straight into the game and we're going straight into a highlight. And Clue seemingly on the front foot. It looked like they were playing a 4-4-2 as well. Not the usual defensive setup we see from our visitors in Europe. Oh, they've hit the post straight away as well. I thought it was offside. He gets away with it. Mackenzie makes an early mistake, but Neil Kane to the rescue. As Williams plays out to Daly, can we please get a goal? Just bury the hatchet. Get Simpson his debut goal, and we can start to push on. As Wilson coming forward to Michael Hatton on the right. Bit unusual for him to play out there, but he can put crosses in, and Simpson's up. Oh, that's what we signed him for. But he gets the goal eventually. The first one hits him. It's a great header against the post. But then they try to clear it away. And he's just in there to block. He's working hard. And Morris Simpson gets exactly what he needs. Five minutes in his debut. Wasn't a coherent sentence. But it's 1-0 to Distillery. And that's something we didn't manage last time. Albeit, if you look at the stats for this game, Cluj have had more of this game. We're going to have to be careful with it. They're in dominant... They're in the ascendancy, sorry, for this match. As Durjan gets the ball back to Imbazan. Good save from Kane. Doesn't keep it in. I don't know what's going on. The rebound hits the post and goes wide. Where on earth is the defending here? We've only got four players back for the set piece as well, which is a little bit bizarre. They're going to have one unmarked in here, and I know what that means. Up to the back post it goes. Not back inside. Good deflection. Parry half away. Oh, we are getting outplayed here. We're going to have to drop to balanced. Stan gets it on the right. He cuts inside. Big switch of play to Serge and the target man. We know what quality he's got. Cuts inside to Stanker. It's a good block. McCall Hatton heads away to McKenzie. Why the centre half is the second furthest man forward, I don't know. Simpson holds up though. Big switch. That's brilliant. McCall Hatton's in. Two in the middle. Cuts it back to Lennon. And it is 2-0 to Distillery. In a game where we've been probably second best, we are two up in 20 minutes. You can see Cluj, they've had three times the amount of shots. They've got the bigger expected goals, but they missed a couple of chances. Kane made a great save, and now we're two up at the half hour mark. So the Maribor game at home, we were far better than this. We were the better team of the two, and we went out. Here, we've not been the better team at all, but I've dropped a balance. We've got that two goal lead, and now it's our job to just hang on. At half time, the deficit is still two for Cluj, and as long as they don't push forward too much, They've looked pretty poor since we've dropped a balanced. This will be all right. Debut goal for Simpson and Ruari Lennon finally turning up for the first time this season. Into the second half we go. I'm much more relaxed at the minute. But given the pattern of the first half, this tie is not over. We're just over 20 minutes to go. And you can see again from the stats, Cluj are the better team here. They've had more chances. They're into double figures. They've got the only one with the expected goals above one. But they've not taken chances. And now... We can go and make subs. So Parry, you'll be replaced by Farmer. Don't know why you're complacent, but a more traditional winger. Whitehall will come off for Griffiths, regular sub. He will switch with Lennon. Williams off for Belt, bit of height, bit of experience at the back post. We'll save the last two for now. But 70 minutes in, not been the performance I was looking for. But frankly, this is about getting a job done. If we can get into Europe, if Lahn can get into the group stages too, Northern Irish football's in better nick, but this free kick is a dangerous position. 10 minutes to go. I think McKenzie's given it away. He's picked up a book in. If Stanker puts this in, it changes the tie, and he has put it in. Top corner for Stanker. I'm going to take McKenzie off now for Harley Jones. And at 2-1, this has a very different vibe about it, particularly given the Cluj performance. If they go front-footed at home, we could be in a spot above her. And at the moment... We haven't even wrapped up this game. As Stanker, the goal scorer, is on corner duty. They've got four in the middle. Simpson heads away. That's another benefit of a target man there. Mora back to Batura. Oh, he's cold it in the corner. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's happening again. Daly's going to come off for Daniels. We have thrown this tie away. We have clutched defeat from the jaws of victory. I mean, on the balance of play, 
we can have absolutely no argument about this because Cluj have created all night. They've been a good side. But now going away, we're in trouble. And I feel like our group stage hopes are hanging by a thread. We've not got the same coefficient ranking as Lan. If we end up in that conference qualifier, we're going to get a tough team. We played well. We didn't get the result. But we're coming up against sides with good European history. They're sides that have played regularly in latter qualifiers, in group stages, in the new league format. And we've just not got it. Simpson scored. There's a benefit. But it's 2-2. Two -two. We've thrown away a two-goal lead. And in the second leg, I'm not confident at all. We'll be back in a moment for it. I might end this episode a pretty grumpy man. Back in a minute to find out if I do. Well, a couple of important updates as we return today. I was going to address the elephant in the room at the end and see how many of you had noticed, but given the fact we might be grumpy after this second leg, I better do it before I forget. And in addition to that, there's some news at the distillery as well. Still no right backs. Morgan Griffith struggling with injury, but if we go back a day or two, we did get a new goalkeeping coach in who has been the missing piece of the jigsaw there. He's pretty good and professional. We've also had some good news with Lan, who won their first leg away from home. They should complete the job today. We've got a second tab at the top left of the screen because we have been offered the job by Northern Ireland. Kike Sanchez Flores left after the Euros. I think that popped up during the last episode and we were offered the job just a few days ago. Five and a half grand a week for us, a great chance to increase our personal reputation, but more to think about too. The reason I'm not worrying about it too much for now is because the rest of this year is a low-level European Nations League group. I'm not going to spend our time in this build a nation showing you games against North Macedonia, Armenia and Luxembourg. I'm going to get them out the way, I'm going to get used to my squad, and we might show you some crucial qualifiers if they pop up, but for now... Good to know that we've got the job is something we didn't manage in our Bangor City save. And that is the reason that at the start of the episode, the thumbnail was Kike Sanchez Flores. We have replaced that man. Let's go and get on to the second leg against Cluj though. Just over 10 minutes from the end of that game, it was looking like a very good one to be in. And now we are probably the underdogs. It is 2-2. We're going away to Romania. And although we've now got a goal scorer, we are struggling to compete. Morgan Griffith should be fit enough for the bench. He's going to be there anyway. I'm going to bring Poate on for one of the youngsters. He will then start in place of Michael Hatton. It says he's 45 minutes, but we'll try and eke an hour out, see how he gets on. I was going to make the one change in midfield with Lennon dropping in and Griffiths going 10, but obviously that injury has put pay to that a bit. A bit worried about Ben Parry's form on the left as well. But we're going to stick with the same apart from Poate in, and I just hope we can do it. We'll drop to balance from the start and we'll try and stay in the tie. But for now, I feel we're underdogs. And if we don't get through this one, it's all going to come down to one game. And I don't think the draw will be as friendly. So let's go and get through to it. The second leg in Romania. We blew it at home with those two late goals. Can we recover today? They've got another sub. They've got nine this time, Cluj. They're really pressing on. Means they must have one of their stars back from injury. Doesn't bode well, does it? Let's go and drop to balance. Let's get into the second leg. Listen to the wonderful music again. And hopefully my voice will hold out for 10 more minutes. And at the end of it, I'll be losing it by celebrating. Not sure we're going to be quite that lucky. I have changed tactic though to a 4-2-3-1. Matches us up probably suits us better. We mentioned before we struggle a bit against the 4-4-2. Linfield do it. Cole Rain have done it over the years. And here we'll be looking to bounce back. The players will be coming out of the tunnel. It's not populated very well, but it is more fans than we saw at Windsor Park. And Cluj are an experienced European side. They showed that late on against us with that fight back, that bit of resilience away from home. And they were the better side in that one. So this could be a very tricky tie. 2-1 Two -two on aggregate into the second leg. Just cross your fingers and everything else. I'll take an ugly 1-0. Because we've got a free kick early on with Poate. Back into the team. And the shot is back off the woodwork. I thought it was going to be a dream return for him. But it's not to be. Four gone. First chance to distillery. It's still 0-0. Nil 2-2 nil. Two -two on aggregate as McKenzie plays out from the back. We'll keep an eye on the alarm result as well. We need them to get through because we're letting the side down as Poate's robbed in possession by Stanker. The goal scorer who started off the comeback last time finds Serge and the star man up to Boldor. Shoots from distance. It's wide. Into the side netting. Had Neil Kane thinking but not enough to concern us too much. Down to the Conference League we go. Lan 1 0 up on the night already. So they're doing their job for the nation. But weirdly, if you look at the stats here, without doing a great deal, we've been the better side, which 
is a little bit of a contrast to the home leg. We've just got to take advantage now with Wilson up towards Poate. Oh, it's a penalty. What a gift that is for handball. I'm not sure I've set Simpson up to be a penalty taker, and I don't know if he can take them. He can't. He's right down the bottom. His penalty taking rating is four. The best taker at the club on the pitch is Neil Daly, and it's Jamie Williams set up at the minute. So I'm going for Daly, and I know changing isn't always fruitful, but he is the biggest earner at the club. He was the first big four-figure a week signing. Can he deliver now? Yes, he can. Top corner sends the keeper the wrong way. I don't want to over-celebrate because we saw we were 2-0 up last time. It's not job done. But Neil Daly came in for these big moments and he's delivered. Call under pressure. Cluj have been awful at home so far. Maybe that's a sign of our better performance. But at the moment, a gift from the penalty spot makes it 1-0. And the hosts haven't had a threat. But look at them now. Straight down the left they come. Wilson gives it away. Again, the position we're weaker in the last year. That's the problem in these saves. You can't get those quality loan signings till late in the summer. And it's going to cost us again. As Mora brings the ball forward. It's a good pass. There's that number 10 we were talking about. Stanker gets into the box. He scored last time out. This time provides the cross. And it's in off the post from Madeline. 1-1. And again, it's an awful time to concede. We are back on terms on aggregate. They've pegged us back yet again. We just cannot put them to bed. 1-1 it's going to be at the break. And Cluj have scored their only shot on target. Let's go and encourage the lads because we've done really well here. We're controlling the ball. We're playing well. Now get on the front foot and prove it. In this second half, you can become heroes of this football club. You can make history, but can you deliver it? We're 10 minutes into it. We've been the better side and we've got a free kick with Poate. Up towards Goss. Madeline, the scorer, heads away. Daly's touch is heavy, but he recovers. Finds Williams on the halfway line to Wilson. Both fullbacks keeping disciplined. McKenzie goes back again. Do not give it away there to Goss. He can come forward with it to Williams. As support out wide. Chips through to Simpson. Through he goes. Acute angle. Good deflection. It's behind for a corner. He has looked to fret up there, but he's not really had great service today. And it's a corner kick for Lennon. The voice is definitely fading away here. We could do with a goal to bring it back. But the corner's poor. It's straight into the keeper's arms. And now they've got the chance to counter. Cluj on the front foot. Big punt forward. There's no one up there. Williams brings it down. Play short to Goss, who can come out from the back. Has support again. Finds Parry. We're not really showing an intent to go forward here. It's always the safe option as Parry down the left. Back he goes again. Williams has time on the ball to Daly. Scored the first goal. Releases Parry. Lovely touch. Great ball in. Simpson shot straight at a keeper. It was good football. At least it hit the target. But it wasn't good enough. It stays 1-1 on the night. I'm going to have to take Poate off. He's knackered. McGill Hatton is the only option out on that right wing. But look at the stats. It's a complete contrast. Our expected goals is two. We've been the better side on the road. Both sides struggling with home comforts as Whitehall finds McGill Hatton. The sub is on. He's captaining now as well. Out to Parry on the left. There's three making a run. McGill Hatton will arrive as well. Simpson's up in the air. Hits the woodwork. McGill Hatton can't get there. And he's cleared away for a throw in. Simpson, or sorry, Wilson will take it to Whitehall. 1-2 into Simpson. Oh, he's blocked again. Chiriak clears. How are we not ahead in this game? Mackenzie finds Daly to Whitehall. In towards Parry. Brilliant run and a very good finish. Might be the final nail in the coffin of the voice. But let's hope is also the final nail in the CFR Cluj hopes. Because we cannot have them coming back again. Two and a half expected goals. We've got the lead. Lana wrapped their tie up as well. Now let's go and make some subs. Nothing too defensive at the minute. Lennon will come off four. I'm going to do Sean Daniels, you know, and I'll put Daly as the number 10. Daniels will go back in that holding role. The two that are so used to playing together from last year. I'm not going to make any more subs yet. Wilson at right back is struggling. Simpson up front, we've not really got a sub for other than Aitken. And just in case it goes to extra time and penalties, I want to be careful. Make sure we've got a first team on. As Radu gives it away to Daniels. A goal here and surely it is tie over. Simpson's touch is heavy. Radu wins it back for Popescu. But Daniels nicks it again. What a point he's got to prove. Gets it again. Daniels finds Williams. The voice is really going now. But Goss finds Daniels. We might be in silence soon. But I'm sure many of you won't complain. As Goss can carry forward again. It is all distillery in this tight. We've played so well in this second leg. And it makes up for the poor performance first time around. 
as Parry down the left finally delivers when it matters. Finds Whitehall from again. Falls for Noah Daly. It's Neil Daly anyway. I'm going back to Bangor City again there. But the offside flag is up. It stays 2-1. And we're into the 90th minute. Or the 89th, sorry, with Distillery. Wilson throws into Daly. Back to Wilson again. He finds McKenzie. Into Goss and Williams. I'm supposed to be recording tomorrow's head coach after this. How on earth is that going to happen? Williams finds Goss to Daniels and Parry. Daly, what's that pass? Popescu clears it. It is panic stations galore. And Madeline's got it on the right. Popescu finds Boldor. Out to Parry who nicks it. Williams finds Daniels and Simpson. Lovely turn that is. I thought he was going to play Daly through. Goes back to Parry. This is really professional. We've kept it so well. But can we get the goal to seal it? McElhattan on the right. It's a poor touch. Goes back to Wilson. Chance to cross. It's back to Whitehall. It's into the top corner. Archie Whitehall with his first of the season. It's 3-1. And it's worth losing your voice for. Lisbon Distillery are through. Now we can make the changes. Aitken will come on up front for a minute. Archie Whitehall is knackered in midfield. It will be Tom Robinson off for him. And then McKenzie booked again at the back. Let's bring Harley Jones on. Into four minutes of stoppage time. Three more changes made. And Lisbon Distillery will be in the European group stages for the first time this year. I don't know whether it will be Europa League or Europa Conference. But that performance was the best one so far. A brilliant display against a very decent team. And we made amends properly for that late turnaround in the first leg. Well, I can only apologise for the croakiness at this point. That second leg really got to my voice. And to be fair, it's another very similar tie next time around. Carabag are three star. They're very similar to Maribor and Cluj. They've got European experience. It's going to be a difficult one. But we know there's not so much pressure on it now. You saw in the Europa Conference League, Alarm were very comfortable. They get through to face Sion of Switzerland, which will be a pretty good game as well. Hopefully we can both reach the group stages. For now, though, a really encouraging performance. Simpson got his goal on his debut as well. And as you can see already, it is going to be chaos in terms of the group fixtures and what that's going to do to our schedule because we've already lost the Linfield and Larn games at the end of this month, which has made September a bumper one already. We've got the SPFL Trust Trophy. We've got the All-Ireland Cup Final. This is going to be about what squad we can build and how many players we can keep in the fold. We can sign two or three more emergency backups as well. Just to give ourselves a little bit of depth, I think we might be all right. But for now, we have done our big main job for the season. We have reached the Europa group stages. Whether it's Conference League or Europa League, I don't care. It's two and a half million in. We can start to worry about facilities, recruitment, coaching, and get all of this stuff up to speed. It's a big season for distillery. Will our league form suffer? Well, it really can't afford to. We've got to get in the top two. We've got to get in the Europa qualifiers again. We've got to make this a habit for the future. If you did enjoy that brilliant second leg performance and you're looking forward to seeing if we can do it, then please do put a thumbs up on the video. We'll of course be back for at least the second leg of Carabag. I might do that and the League Cup against Crusaders, but either way, it's going to be a very big finish to the transfer window too. Let me know in the comments whether you think Linfield will run away with the league this year for not having that crazy schedule or will us and Lan be able to keep pace. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Subscribe to stay up to date with the season. Turn that notification bell on to make sure you don't miss a thing. I won't make any promises at this point, but voice permitting, we should be back with the head coach tomorrow. Might be even croakier in that one. But in the meantime, you can find the other playlist up in the eye above. The summer transfer special from that head coach save. There's also links to the football podcast, the Twitch channel and the blog story as well. Loads of new updates from that one over there. Do check it out if you haven't already. And I'll see you back here, fingers crossed, in a couple of days time with a slightly healthier voice and a big game against Carabag.